Hello friends, we'll study about exhaustive software testing and effective software testing. We were studying about testing methodology. So we began with goals of software testing. We are seeing the different types of goals. Functioning from determining the bugs till they got fixed. We also studied that the while fixation of those bugs, we have to keep the cost in our mind. Second, we saw software testing terminology where we studied about the failure, error, fault, defects. And now we'll study about exhaustive software testing and effective software testing. So what is exhaustive software testing? Exhaustive testing means it's a complete testing when all the testers and all the testing teams are exhausted and when all the test plan are being executed thoroughly. It is a quality assurance testing technique in which each and every scenario where the inputs, the outputs required are being tested. In a, for example, exhaustive testing means there is no undiscovered fault at the end of test phase. And the tester still says, I wish I could have some more time. How this is related to you? Suppose, take for an example, take an example. You write your exam, you take answer sheet, you read your question paper, your subject is theoretical, you take some time to write. So, when time comes to an end, there is a warning bell that rings. You still write faster and faster. After warning bell, the final bell rings. You hand it over the paper to your supervisor. Later, when you come up from your exam hall, you discuss with your friend and say, Ah, I wish I could have some more time. That's the thing. It goes on testing thoroughly till the end, till it's exhausted, where no errors, no faults are found. So according to ISTQB, that is International Software Quality Qualification Board, the exhaustive testing is a process of testing the functionality where the inputs where they have taken the all possible all the combinations of the inputs and their combinations and they run along with different preconditions that means input precondition and post conditions till we find there is a no way that we there is a no way that input cannot be taken we have taken much input much combinations we have used the preconditions and now we got the post conditions so this is what the exhaustive testing the effective testing provides the experience based practices and a concept that can be implemented a successful and an efficient testing program well in effective way we define test plans test cases we implement those test cases with certain input, output. We define the actual behavior, expected behavior, and the remark. We say we either the test has passed or it's a fail. So in an effective way, it has different types of testing process. It has the procedures, test plans, etc. to implement a successful and efficient clean done by the testing program. So this way we have studied the exhaustive and the effective software testing. We see next about software testing life cycle till then. <laughs>